Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Disco Bot tutorial. In this one, it's going to be quite a simple tutorial. Some people have asked that I show how to use embeds, and obviously I've already shown that in my other series, but some people haven't watched that because they're new here and they're watching my new series. And also, um, you know, it's just a nice recap how to use them. They're not the most difficult thing to use, but they are very useful because you'll notice that most Disco Bots, pretty much all of them, will just use so so solely embeds for sending messages because they just look nicer. You've got more customizability. Yeah, that's the right word. Um, you can, you know, set the title, description, pictures, links, like color, whatever you want. You can all make it look fancy and tidy and neat and professional. Anyway, uh, so we're going to get into that in a minute. Um, but before that, I'm going to thank my patrons. So thanks to Michael, for Robinson, for Baum and Norwegian Viking. If anyone else would like to help support the channel and community, link is in the description below. And we also have the join button on YouTube now. Thanks to you guys for that. But apart from that, let's get into it. So quick video. Um, ignore that kick message. For some reason, Discord doesn't want to let me delete the message. Even when the bot tried to delete it, it's like, nah. So we're going to ignore that message. Discord's been a bit laggy, I guess. So things we want to do this video before we actually make the command, some tidy ups. Um, first thing we want to do is we want to make sure our bot's working. Uh, so index open. I'm ready and uh, blah, 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 blah. purge. What is that like? One, two, three, four, five. I can't get rid of the other one anyway. If I tried to, like, do purge two, because obviously it includes the own message, then nah. Okay. Um, cool. So let, let's do some neatness things and just some tidying up. So let's go to our purge command, actually. And let's say we want to delete um, number of messages to delete plus one so that um, our own message doesn't get included in that. So if we see five messages we want to delete, we do say purge five. It's just a bit less confusing, that's up to you. Uh, one next thing we want to do is we want to go to our interface, the API thing, and we want to change this um, to be a promise void, okay? Now the reason we're making it a promise void rather than just a void, let me, let me zoom in. Uh, is because we're going to make this asynchronous. Now, I originally thought I had made asynchronous, but I just kind of forgot, I guess. So what we need to do is we need to go through all of our commands. Now, luckily, we do, we're do we doing this now. We only have, like, four commands or something. Um, all we need to do is go to the run command and put the word async before it. And then here, change it to promise void. And what that means is promise void. Well, void's the return type, nothing. We don't return anything from this function. And promise, if you've ever used, like, coroutines or asynchronous anything before, like... Uh, it's just a way of saying, um, well, this is what we're going to give back, as if you're prompt. Now, obviously, we're not giving anything back. It's void. And async just means we can pause the execution of this. If we ever needed to, we could, like, pause on a certain line to wait for something. Maybe it's waiting for input and then continue. That's what we allow it to do. Now, you don't want to do this for every function because certain, you know, you don't need to and it's pointless and whatever. So just copy that line and go put it on the run command line of everything. So we only have a few. I mean, if you forgot to do this, then obviously it would give you errors anyway. So there we go. That's just a quick fix. We've done all that now. That's now asynchronous. And if we go back to, let's stop running the bot. If we go back to the index, let me just quick give a quick scan. So what are we doing? Well, we're saying, set it to say that coding, um, you know, on Discord, the, there we go, plain coding. Um, if it's, the bot return, blah, 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 it's all good. One thing we want to do that some people have asked for is make the message case, like, well, non-case sensitive so that they can write it in any casing they want and it still works. So the way we do that, simply, the, I mean, there's different ways to do this, it's up to you. I'll just take this message and when we store it as like a command, when we split it up and get the command, we'll just say dot to lower case, like that, just add dot to lower case. And then all we need to do now is make sure all of our commands, um, I need to remember that shortcut, F2, I always forget. Um, just make sure all of our commands have lowercase in here. And then what that means is when they do it, whatever they type in will be put to lowercase. So it's always going to check lowercase to lowercase. So regardless of what you put it in, it will always work so long as you remember to keep these lowercase. And then obviously due to that, you might have to go to your config, which obviously I have my token in, but I'm not too bothered because I'm going to reset it. Uh, and actually that's fine anyway. So what do we need to do now? We're going to make our new command. Let's go to commands, create a new file, and we'll call it like server info. I made a command kind of like this on my old series, so we're just going to make the same thing again. So what do we want to do in here? We want to copy our template command, paste it in. So we want to say server info and just call it server info. Uh, 
And then down here, we want to rewrite the code for the bot. So what do we want this bot, this code to do? We simply want it just to create an embed and send it with some server info. So to make an embed, you say let embed equal, well, whatever variable you want, but let embed equal new discord. So you've got to be importing discord, which we are dot rich embed. And then open and close parentheses because there's no parameters. And then if we don't put a semicolon, what we can actually do is we can go to the next line. And I like to tab in a bit here to like here. We can do dot and we get all the properties of a rich embed that we can sort out here. Now, I would recommend using the functions, not the properties, but it's kind of up to you. I've not tried using the properties. So what I mean by that is instead of like clicking off and setting it equal to, you can just say dot and then, um, I don't know, set color. Now we want to set a color and it takes in a type color discord.color resolvable. So basically it's its own data type discord using. Now if we want to know more about that you go to discord.js and I'm on the rich embed thing I had it up from earlier and all we need to do is we need to go down to the set color which is uh, here and it takes in a type color resolvable so if I click on that it explains here what that data type is. So it says you can actually pass in a hex code literal string number red green blue array so rgb array or one of the following you can pass in these default values they've already got or you can even yeah you can even pass in random and it's different every time apparently i mean <laughs> that's what i assume i've never actually used these defaults but that's what random means or you can just pass in rgb in an array like this and i think that's like the simplest one to go with unless you know your hex code value so up to you how you pass this in but i'm just going to pass in we're going to make a um, green one. So if it's RGB, we'll go 0, 255, comma 0. So that's 0 red, 255 green, and 0 blue. So it's mainly green. It's completely green. It's as green as you can get. Now, maybe you want it to be slightly less green, so not a strong green. So you go for like 200 or something. It's up to you. So we've set the color of that embed. And we've not actually set any, like, you know, text. So let's go in a, you know, set title. So uh, the title's a string, so we're just going to say, you know, server info. And now that you've done that, uh, I think that might be enough for it to actually work. I, I don't know if there's a minimum on uh, embeds that you can send. I mean, we could just try sending this now. So what we'll do is we'll go to the next line, get all the way back to here, and we'll say message object, which is the thing we've passed in, dot channel, dot send, and we're going to send the embed. And then just in case there's an error, it's always good to do dot catch, console.error. So if uh, if something goes wrong when we're sending the message, we log an error, basically. That's what it does. Um, and you can put these in other places. I might go, before the end of the video, I might go back and put these in other places to, you know, help us fix errors that we might get. So let's go and do... Uh, well, first of all, we need to add server info to our config. So, comma, server info. Make sure it's all lowercase. And then, control shift B. Build. Let it build. And we'll just go run the bot. And if I go do um, like server info, if I spell it right, server info, I literally can't spell server info. And now I'm definitely just being an idiot. Okay, what's going on? Um, server info. Can I, am I not spelling? Is that what's going wrong? Oh, I'm just not using the right prefix. Okay. Anyway, uh, excuse me for that. Um, as you see, we just have a title and a color. So what we need to do is, well, let's go and just try this purge, you know, five or whatever. Um, still probably can't get rid of that <laughs> message for some reason. So what if I uh, did server in like, server error info. So I'm doing it with random caps and it still works. Look, so no matter how you cap capitalize it, it still works. That's cool. We fix that. Um, all right, let's just add more information to our embed, I guess. So we can set a footer. So set footer. It's a string that goes at the bottom. So like, uh, yeah. Write whatever you want. Um, then we can set an image. So the image I'm going to set for the embed could be the bots icon, I guess. So because um, it's like the bots information or the server information. Um, if we go message objects dot guild dot uh, dot icon URL, so that'll give us not the bots icon, the servers icon, um, and we can do set uh, description to be you know 
this uh, welcome to our server here is some information you might like to know it's whatever you want okay and we'll just do a quick build and run it again and see what happens now of embeds it's completely up to you to design them you know for whatever they, they are going to be used for because uh, they might look completely different depending on what you're using them for there we go server info welcome to our server here's some information you might like to know this is pretty cool right now if we go back I feel like we didn't get an error but we uh, for the message guild icon it didn't actually do anything, and that's just simply because our server here doesn't have an icon because I haven't set one. If you have, then that's fine, but I'm actually going to do uh, instead, I'm going to say client, so that's the bot, dot um, user, dot avatar URL. There we go. Okay, so that sends the bot's icon instead. And obviously, the bot has an icon, so we can send that. And I think I've given it the, like, dapper icon, so uh, server info. There you go. So welcome to our server. Here's some information I'd like to know. We haven't got any information. So I guess uh, one last thing we could do, because obviously I said it's going to be a short video, we can just add some information about the bot. So we'll add a... Um, you can also re reorganize this to be in any order you want. There's no... You can put these in any order. The only one that actually matters about the order is doing the add field. So if I, um, for example, go to the bottom here and I do add field, a field takes in a name and a value. So the name's just like the header for the thing. So you can say like server count and then comma and another string. Um, and that string can actually say, you know, how many people are in the server. So we could say uh, inside these backticks or whatever they are. Someone told me the correct name. I think it's backticks. I can say like our server currently has dollar blah blah and then we want to say how many people we have in our server so we can say message object dot uh, guild dot member count now the reason we're referring to the message object dot guild dot member count is because if you think about it the message that was sent is in the server that you want to know about the count for but you can't reference the bot for example and ask it how many members are on the server because the bot can be in multiple servers so the bot wouldn't know which server you're on about. Maybe you could uh, get the list of all the servers the bot's in and go through it and find the right one by, by its ID or name. But obviously it makes so much more sense just to reference the actual message object and get the server that it's in. So we're basically saying, get the message that was sent for the command, get the server it was sent in, and then get the member count of that server. So that's quite simply how it works. So to finish this off, we can go and build, we can go and run. And we can go and do the command uh, server info. I don't have many people in here, as you can see. We only have two people, me and the bot. But um, I also didn't say our server currently has two. Uh, I could have said a bit more you know, interesting. Our current currently has two members. There you go. All right, so um, the last thing to end off this video, as I said, is just going to be going through our commands that we've made and making sure we're not got any uh, uncaught exceptions. So technically, um, when you delete a message, you should say dot .catch um, console.error, just because that, that kind of thing can have an error. So I'm going to copy the that line. So, you know, we're going to uh, delete that there. When we delete the message, make sure um, it works, because there are problems sometimes with deleting errors, and that can just crash your bot. Now, we've already done that there. So that's good. Our band command is fine. Kick pretty much the same, just go down to the next line, put in the catch, put in the catch. Basically, whenever you're calling a function, <laughs> uh, most of the time you can do a dot .catch. If it's through Discord's API, if it's your own function, then if you get an error, it's your problem, it's your fault. But if it's um, through their function, it's usually on their end. And that doesn't mean like they've got bad coding. It's usually a fact, uh, maybe there's some lag on the API, Discord might be having a rough time at a weekend or like at night time when there's lots more people on than during the day and so on. Th those things happen from time to time, but Discord generally has a good uptime. Uh, there, there have been times when the API has been laggy and it's like messed up bots and the bots have gone offline because they've all like crashed for certain things and it's just a mess. But yeah, uh, obviously you don't need it for rounding. That's a, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't need that. So yeah, we've caught all of the exceptions. So that's cool. Um, I guess all we need to do now is give it a final run 
We'll give it a final build, sorry. Control Shift B, build. Go to the server when we run it and just make sure all our commands work and then we can end the video. So, um, what commands do we have? We have kick, well, I'm actually gonna test if they work when we say like kick, du -du -du -du. Sorry, you can't find that user. Okay, cool. Ban, du -du -du -du. still works. Um, and those messages get deleted after five seconds. Um, purge, 10, goes all the way back. Server info. Ah, oh, server currently has two members. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it is pretty cool. And we got our green color. Forgot to mention that. Obviously, you probably noticed it. Um, and we could easily change that to be whatever we want. So I hope you like this video. Obviously, it was uh, shorter than normal, but that's fine. I'm going to be obviously getting into more complex topics soon, and we'll be making like two or three part videos if we're making a, a music bot and stuff like that. So I hope you guys stick around. I hope you guys check out my game development tutorials if you're, you know, into that at all. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe, it'd mean a lot. Check us out on Patreon, uh, join our Discord server, the link's in the description below. But apart from that, thanks for watching and goodbye.